I said to Kurt I should really read these ones before I buy any new ones. Okay, you guys ready for the satisfaction? These chips, our kids are obsessed. One to one gram. Five to seven years. <laughs> I've got the tiniest feet. That's the one, good job. And whenever I am without them, I just don't feel that way. And I think that so many other mums will probably relate to feeling like this. Good morning guys, she's up, she's out the door. If you guys have been watching my stories, then you'll know I've been out on my morning walks again. It's been so good and the sun is rising like earlier and earlier. So it's literally 5.30 and I should be back before the kids even wake up or maybe they'll like just be awake. So I've been doing this pretty much every morning, um, except for when it rains. <laughs> The only bad thing is the magpies have been out to attack, but I've had you guys messaging me over on Instagram and now I come prepared. I bring an umbrella with me so I can put it up if they're attacking me and then they hit the umbrella and they don't hit my head. So that's... Bird. Bird. So that's point of safety I've got with me on my walk. They're fully out nesting guys and it scares me, but I'm not going to let them stop me this year. Otherwise, I don't know why I keep coming back to this Keep fighting all of it Don't trust that there's love to give I don't know why I just can't believe just can't. it Like somehow I can't believe Guess I have to admit Yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Really about it open and about you but being a busy mum my sleep is so important to me and Emma Sleep makes it so nice and easy to achieve a good night's sleep. Emma Sleep are an expert at what they do and they have created some absolutely amazing products that Kurt and I are both obsessed with. I used to struggle a lot with falling asleep and since switching over to the Emma Sleep Diamond Mattress I find falling asleep so easy. In fact, most nights I cannot stay awake. <laughs> Kurt used to toss and turn and he would always wake up complaining about his back and since switching over as well, his back has been so much better. Investing in our sleep is something I wish we did so long ago and prioritizing your sleep is one of the best investments you can make. If you find this time of year you struggle to fall asleep because you're feeling hot, the Diamond Degree mattress has a cooling technology that actually absorbs and draws the heat away from your body for a cooler night's sleep. It has a 10 year warranty and free delivery delivery plus a 100 night free trial so if you don't absolutely love it you can return it. This mattress was not voted product of the year last year for no reason it's because it is such an incredible mattress plus if you have not tried their cloud pillows that is another thing that I would highly recommend. It's a hybrid cloud pillow so you can actually take out the insert and adjust the height of the pillow to your comfort. This is a one thing whether I am at home or going away I always bring along with me. Also we have changed both the kids mattresses over to an Emma Sleep mattress as well Miller and Linky they're both in a single bed they absolutely love it plus whenever we do have a night if they're a little bit scared or something like that and we sleep in there it's so nice and comfortable for us so they've literally got the exact same mattress as us as well the hybrid diamond degree mattress and something else that I love as well is that all of the mattresses actually have a zip and a cover so they are washable which makes life so easy if it starts to get a bit yucky and you want to clean it they've literally thought of everything if you guys wanted to check out Emma sleep they're currently having their black Friday sale and you can get an additional 10% off when you use my code AMVBF and you can find the link in the description below. Thank you Emma Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Do not mind me guys, I've literally got like oil in my hair, just about to go jump in the shower. I've had something new pop up that I'm really wanting to work through and I'm feeling very nervous. On the podcast on Friday, Ashley and I had like a very candid conversation of like something that we are trying to learn to let go of that is no longer serving us and I kind of went on there and spoke about a my social anxiety anxiety is something I've literally struggled with since I can remember like as a kid literally like seven eight having major panic attacks um 
and I also feel like I've got a bit of codependency on not only my kids but on Kurt as well so if I go somewhere and I have got either the kids with me or Kurt with me I feel really safe and secure and whenever I am without them I just don't feel that way and I think that so many other mums will probably relate to feeling like this but this has kind of been my next layer of stuff <laughs> to work through and I'm slowly getting started on the journey actually the last like probably three or so weeks I kind of called myself out on it because last year I mentally was doing awfully if you guys watch my vlogs you will know I was just not in a good place I was not myself I was not bright bubbly Kiara I barely left my house my anxiety got so bad um, and I was in such a bad space that I literally like did not leave my house unless I needed to. I stopped going for my walks, I stopped going to the grocery shop, I stopped filling the car up fuel, I stopped going to the post office box. All these jobs I made Kurt do and if I did go, I would have the kids with me or I would have Kurt with me because my anxiety was just too bad for me to be able to go and to manage to do just daily mundane tasks. Obviously, I've come a long way since then. <laughs> I am now more than capable to going and doing all those things on my own and I feel comfortable doing it, but there are still certain things that I definitely do hold myself back on. Like say, for example, my morning walks, I've been consistently doing them for a couple weeks now. Um, but that's only like a new thing because I was just like, oh, I've got to go on my own. I go before, like the only way I can go is if I go before the kids wake up and then I've got to go on my own. So again, my walks have definitely been one of those things, but I've started back up. I'm trying to slowly push myself outside my comfort zone and expand it. I feel like I got in such a habit last year of just like hibernating that now, yeah, things just feel tougher than what they used to. I feel like I kind of was gaining my confidence back a few years ago. It really crumbled last year, but then still... My entire life, I've always had this niggling anxiety. So I'm going to get some coaching on that and try to, you know, like work out like the core of where this is coming from. And I feel like with this anxiety comes like, you know, a lack of confidence. So yeah, it's just something that I feel like my whole life has kind of held me back a bit. And I feel like, you know, hopefully if I work through it with someone, I can get to the other side of it. I feel like I go through phases of managing it really well. I feel like I actually can manage my anxiety very well now compared to how I previously used to. But if I push myself or life gets too stressful, my anxiety comes up. And I guess managing it is putting a bandaid over it because I'm still not able to push myself potentially to the extent that I want to because when I do my anxiety is popping back up again so it is something that is constantly kind of like hovering over me and is there and I don't know if other people who struggle with anxiety kind of feel this way too but this is just kind of like an open candid chat you guys will hear me kind of talk about this over on the podcast um a little bit more as well but I literally had a breakdown <laughs> I like started bawling so I was like it's just like frustrating it's not the person that I want to be and I also feel like it's really hard when you are like literally navigating something to be open and vulnerable and talk about it at the same time it's not like this is something where I'm like oh I've overcome this it's like no I'm still like in the thick of it I'm still working out how to navigate through this time but I want to be open and honest with you guys because I feel like if anyone else is kind of going through a similar thing um then yeah, you know I'm there with you. And yeah, I don't know, it just feels scary. It feels scary to have to uncover something else again and to dig deep and open up another layer and kind of like see like where this is all coming from. And like I said, I've literally had it since I was a kid. I've had it since I can remember. I used to have, even just going to school guys, have full blown panic attacks. So it's something, like I said, I've literally dealt with my entire life. It's time to let go of that and to figure out where it's come from so I can say goodbye to it because it's not serving me. It's not gonna serve me well into my future. So that's kind of where I'm at. I am feeling great though, which is great. Like it's not something where I'm like, I need help and I need it now. It's debilitating like it was last year when I like could not leave my bloody house. It's more so like, I know this is here and I know this is something that I've needed to work on. And yeah, it's time. Like I said, I am managing it. But yeah, I feel like it's definitely holding me back. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go jump in a shower now, get dressed and ready. It's literally 20 past six. So I can go downstairs, get Miller's hair done, hang out with the kids um, and get ready for the day. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Have a kiss? <laughs> what are we going to do today? Let's sit down there. You want to sit down there? It's a bit rainy, hey? No, let's sit down there. Okay, you want to sit down over uh, here? Mom, mom, it's, mom, it's not raining, Mom. It's not raining, but it looks like it might. It looks very cloudy. Can you see the clouds? My head space. A week or it's been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes. Now it's Friday. And I. Miss Miller off to school.
school. Now, quick stop off of the accountants. Need to give them some paperwork, so we're gonna go hand that over to them. And then we're gonna go get the bare minimum groceries. We don't have heaps that we need to get. We need to get some snacks for the kids. We need to get some fruit um, and just some frozen stuff. Like the other day I made them a frozen mango smoothie and they just like loved it. So just like some frozen fruit and some chicken nuggets and all that stuff that's just handy to have in the freezer. Yeah, it's just kids shopping, and kids shopping and mainly. Yeah, and milk and bread we do need. There's something else, socks. We need socks. Every time I go to leave the house, I cannot find socks and Mila's having the same issue, so. Yes, darling. Yeah, we're going to go to the shops. You want to go to the shops, Riggs? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Do you reckon Mum goes to Target and looks at some books while we're there? Yeah. Yeah, me too. The socks are at Target. So I was like, beautiful. <laughs> right where my favorite books are. <laughs> I want a book. You want a book? Yeah. yeah. I want a book. Okay. I'm honestly, anytime you guys want to buy a book, I'm not saying no. I want a big boy too. Okay. All right. It's kind of like arts and crafts. Like I just love them being creative, love them reading. Like anytime they ask, like, can I get more Texas? Can I get more this? I'm like, you know what? I would rather spend money on them having those things than like food or toys or like obviously like I mean like takeaway, not just food. They do need to be fed. <laughs> I mean like takeaway. Brain ain't gonna grow without food. No, but I love I love when they want to get. Yes, yeah, Del. Mom, what's that? What's that? What's that? This is our accountants. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. This is the shop. All right. Coles stop first, and we've got a few other stops along the way. Can you help me find our bread? Yeah. Okay. Which one's Miller's one? Do you know? That's the one. Good job. Kids love these guys. These are the snack. With these chips, our kids are obsessed. The health food aisle down here is like back to front. Right down the other way. I'm gonna get a few packs of these because every time we do, is it back gone. to front here or is it back to back front of ours? I know. <gasps> I All right. There you go, Link. Your favourite. Daddy. Yummy. <laughs> Got the frozen mangoes. Make my smoothies for them. Actually, Maddie, Fred's girlfriend, made us some um, mango daiquiris out of this. It was so good. Hey, the other weekend they were amazing. We're all running to warm up. <laughs> went to the fruit and veg shop. How good is it? Like now, now that we have um, been going there, I'm like any opportunity I get, there's one nearby. Look at all the fruit I got. Guess how much? It's um, $48, but I got mangoes, I got everything. Coles, yeah. it would be literally double the price. So like all the raspberries are $3 or two for five. I was like, it's $5 for one in a Coles. Got the socks, I found them. These are the ones, there's the last two packs left. I was like, I'm getting both of them. These are the comfiest socks, guys, and they fit me too. Children's size, what is it? Five to seven years. Yeah, okay. I've got the tiniest feet. She snuck for a little look. What have you got? Book. What have you got a book? Yes. Oh, Riggie, Christmas on. tree one. Reggie, this one here. This one's where you find Bluey again. You know oh, how we go. Bluey's. Reggie, one of these ones where we find it all. Do you want one of them? Yeah. They're your okay, favourite books the at the moment, hey? So I was excited to see you. Come on, come on. Well guys, we just walked back through the door, but have a look at how nice the day is now. It's beautiful out there. What a turnaround, Kurt. It was raining when we were at the shop. I was saying to Kurt, we should go take the kids down the beach for a bit, but we have got to clean out our pool filter, guys. Kurt and I are away this weekend, and it's something that just like needs to be done. So Kurt's like, why don't we just go out like around the pool, and we can all clean the pool filter together. It's like a big job, though. It takes like an hour. It gets so gross, guys. I'll show you <laughs> what the pool filter looks like. So satisfying cleaning it. But yeah, our pool just keeps needing like chemicals and that dumped in it, and obviously this time of the year, it's being used so much. That is what happens but if you like clean the filter out it just keeps it so much nicer for so much longer so that is our job today that we need to get done what we should do hey i was like we should go down there we could still go for a walk down it'd be beautiful down there a walk and a quick swim and then back up it's only 10 30 the day is still young anyway we'll do what we need to do we'll get this pool filter done and yeah today's nice guys we actually don't have too much on the agenda linky's got his second orientation day tomorrow don't you linky yeah. at your big school uh -huh. are you excited yeah. do you feel a little bit nervous yeah, it's a little bit different, hey, going to a new place like that. Yeah. yeah. But you had fun last time. Yeah. Yeah. Am I still going to have the same teacher? Um, I don't really know, honey. I don't know exactly what's going to go on. What was your favorite part about when you went to the orientation last time? Um, doing the Play-Doh. Doing the Play-Doh? Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, all up they have got four transition days. So there's four times that Linky will go back for like a play date. Such a great idea. Miller did the same thing and it just gets them used to the environment. So it's just like an hour play, which is kind of annoying the timing wise because he ends up like by the time we get back home, it's nearly lunch. So it's kind of frustrating because it's always lands on a daycare day. So he's just like last time we just didn't even put him in daycare because we're like, it's only for a couple of hours. So yeah, I don't know what we're going to exactly do tomorrow, but yeah, he's got four of them. So he's got another one this week, then another one, um, I think right at the end of November. And then there's one like early on at the start of the year. And then they start back a day earlier as well before all the rest of the school is there. So the first day is just not as busy. Hey. Is this a sign from the universe that I need to clean out my bookshelf? I'm going to read them on the sign. Are you? You can definitely read them all. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I need to color coordinate again. I've kind of just been putting them back wherever. I love doing that. What do you guys think of this new headband? I saw, I think I saw Ashy wearing it yesterday, but last week I nearly bought one too. So there must be like kind of trendy or something at the moment because I've been seeing him around. It got me, <laughs> the trend got me. So it's one that's got like, you guys remember these from back in the day, how it's got like the little divots in it. So cute, so nice for like when I'm running around doing stuff with the kids or like a work day when I'm like lifting boxes and stuff because your hair's not flying in your face. I don't know, I kind of like it. I feel like this is kind of a vibe. It's an hour later guys, we still are yet to clean the filter. I think we're putting it off. I'll go, I'll go. I, got <laughs> I know, I need to go get changed. I need I to go get changed into my swimmers. Yeah, we've all been come home, been hungry, so had some food. While I'm waiting for Kurt to finish up some work, guys, I'll show you my new books. I didn't buy any from the bookshop today. I said to Kurt, I should really read these ones before I buy any new ones, so I, I didn't buy any new ones today. I am so excited for this one because I have not read this one yet. Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. I love Jay Shetty. I've listened to him for a long time. Really love his podcast, and yeah, I have not read his book yet, so I got that book. Then I got this one, which is called Master Your Emotions. It says, A Practical Guide to Overcome Negativity and Better Manage Your Feelings. Then my three new like fun ones go down to the comments and have a guess they are thrillers who do you guess the author is by guys <laughs> Freda McFadden once again I got want to know a secret I got do you remember and I got do not disturb all of her books guys cannot beat them for a thriller. They are so good. Absolutely love them. And they're all like a really nice length. Like that's probably like a three or four hour read. Just like absolutely obsessed. If you haven't tried Freda McFadden, I definitely recommend to give her a go guys. If you like like thriller type books, which is definitely my fave at the moment. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Shall we head out? Do you want to carry one for you, Reed? I'm going to change one. Okay. Carry one. okay. We drop them at the pool gate. I bet you the pool's so cold again from all that rain, Kurt. It's been raining heaps. Yeah, Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> that was so hard. That was for the vlog. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Nice and relaxing in there. One snitch on one gram. You've definitely been reading Harry McClary from Goldson's Dairy. Oh, yeah. One snitch on one gram. With a very dirty filter. They're very sweaty, but okay, you guys ready for the satisfaction? Oh, that is satisfaction. What do you think? It's like very satisfying. Like it's dark and I thought it was turned, um, like I didn't think it would turn that color. Satisfying, huh? Yeah. Filter is all nice and clean. Now the kids want to go in the pool, guys. So we're going to go take them in the pool for a bit.